over to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are basically going to making a simple video on how to achieve your male size chart i have a tutorial where i explain how to achieve your size especially for female which i'm going to go ahead and link that video in the description box below it enables you to know sizes and also how to get your different sizes and where your size falls for female i'm going to link that video in the description description box and I also have a video where I explain how to get sizes for children from 1 year old to 12 years and I'm also going to go ahead and link that video in the description box below but today we are going to be dealing with male outfits and also how to calculate the size for male now one advantage of working with size charts is that it enables you to know your client's measurements especially when you are not taking the measurement directly okay because there's times when you have a client you want to make dress for and all they do is they basically tell you their size so i'm a size small i'm size medium how will you know what chest measurements to use for such person what waist measurements and what hip measurements to use aside that i'm also going to show you guys like the different ways to calculate your waist measurements and also to calculate your hip measurements this will also enable you to know if your waist measurements is correct or if your if or if your hip measurements is correct while you are taking your measurements okay it's just like a guide to help you know if your measurements are correct and also if you are looking out for starting a ready to wear line then it is also necessary or important for you to have a size chart which is basically like a guide that will guide you through on different sizes to make for different outfits so today now i'm going to be showing you guys that don't forget to join us on facebook city designs on instagram CG designs. I'm going to go ahead and put down the details in the description box below. Please go ahead and follow me on my social media handle and also visit our website. So visit our website. We have detailed fashion illustration on our website. I'm going to also go ahead and link that in the description box below. And one advantage of checking out our website is because you can print it out. So for an example, this size chart now is on our website and you can go ahead and print it out and just have like a printed copy okay so it enables you to have their printed copies and we also have fashion topics and fashion illustration and I'm going to put down the link of my website in the description box below you can go ahead and visit my blog so we are starting today now with our size charts and basically we have from size 30 to size 48 however you can go ahead and increase yours okay you can increase your size to 50 to 52 it depends on you but basically we have from size 30 to size 48 which is actually like extra large for male but you can also go ahead and increase it because i'm going to show you guys like the formula to calculate it so once you get the formula you can increase it as much as you want to so let's go ahead now and calculate the measurement so now for the measurements we have 30 32 40 30 32 34 36 38 now looking at this size now you will discover that automatically what they did was they just added two inches so we have 30 the next one is 32 let's see the next one is 32 the next is 34 36 38 40 42 so they just basically added about two inches to each size so once you are done with that now the next thing we have to do now is to group these sizes into different parts and different parts in the sense that to know which is your extra large your small your medium your xxl xl and all of that so let's go ahead now and just group this into our different sizes now we have our 30 to 32 is x x x okay x s now this x x simply means extra small okay so it means extra small now from 34 to 36 we have small from 34 to 36 we have small from 38 to 40 we have medium M is medium from 42 to 44 we have large 42 to 44 we have large 44 46 to 48 we have extra large so if you want to increase yours to 50 to 52 it means you have extra 
extra large okay and then if you increase this you have extra extra large okay so just go ahead and increase it as much as you want go ahead now to group this i'm just working with extra small to extra large and once you know the formula it's easy for you to increase it so let's go ahead now and calculate our chest measurement so for male the chest measurement is usually referred to as the bust measurement for female. So, female will call it like your bust measurement, but for men, they usually call it their chest measurement. And this is because, of course, you know that guys don't have bust, okay? What guys have is chest, six packs, and all of that. They don't have bust like ladies. So, for ladies, we call it bust because we have bust. Why for guys, they call it chest because they have empty chest. <laughs> So let's just go ahead now and calculate the chest measurement. So for 30 now, the chest measurement is going to be 30. For 32, the chest measurement, the chest measurement is 30. For 32, the chest measurement is 32. For 34, the chest is 34. For 36, we have 36. 38, 40, 42, 44. 46 and 48 now this is because this is because you discovered that what we have for the sizes is also what we have for the chest sizes is also what we have for the chest this is basically because for guys their chest measurement is what they used to group them into sizes okay because of course the chest is like the largest part of their body for most guys except for those that their tummy is actually big and for those ones their waist is usually like the largest part of their body that is if the guy has like a pot belly okay but if the guy has like six packs, it simply means that the waist, the chest is the largest part of such body, right? But if the guy has like a pulse belly, it means that the tummy, you know, might be the largest part of the body. It depends. But basically, they, they group size um, guys' sizes based on their chest measurement. So this is basically what we have for the chest. So the next thing now we want to achieve now is our waist measurement the next thing we want to achieve is the waist measurement so to calculate our waist now i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys like the calculations to use to calculate your waist measurements and your hip measurements but before then i'm going to also show you guys like a way also to get your measurement so once i'm done getting the measurement then i'll give you guys the calculations so that we can use the formula to to check if what we have or if what we've done earlier is correct i hope you guys understand so anyways let's just go ahead now and calculate it so our waist measurement is 24 our waist measurement is 24 for chest 30 now from 24 the next thing we have is 26 26 we have 28 inches we have 30 32 34, 36, 38, 40, and 42 inches. Okay, you can increase it to 44 inches. Now, you will also discover that for our waist measurements, we basically added 2 inches to each size. So, what we have is 24, the next one is 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, and 44. With this now, you can see that what we did was just to add extra 2 inches to it. So now the next thing we want to do now is to check out our hip measurement. Our hip measurement, okay? Now for the hip, we have 30. To calculate the hip measurement now, we have 31. We have 31. Now the next one will be 33, 35, 37 inches, 39 inches, 41 43, 45, 47, 49, and 51 inches, okay? Now, you will also discover that for the hip measurement, also, they also added about 2 inches to each size. So, we have 31, the next one will be 33, the next one will be 35, 37, 39. So, you are just adding 2 inches to it. So, if you want to increase your size to extra extra large just go ahead and also add like your two inches to extend this to 
the size that you want to work with okay now the next one we are going to look at now is our neck so the neck basically is like your shoulder measurement so for female we refer to as our neck measurements as shoulder measurements why for guys is basically referred as your neck measurements okay that's what most guys call it neck measurements so now to know what we have for our neck measurements we have for our neck measurement now we have 13 inches for size 30 the next one is 13.5 we have 14 14.5 15 15.5 16 16.5 17 17.5 18 18.5 so basically now for the chest for the neck measurement which is also known as shoulder measurement they are basically adding 0.5 to each inches so if you also want to extend yours just go ahead and add 0.5 up to the measurement that you desire it to be so we have 13 13.5 14 14.5 15 15.5 they are basically just adding 0.5 to each sizes of your neck measurements we refer to as the neck measurement so the next one now is your sleeve length okay your sleeve length so we have 31 for size 30 then the next one also we have 31 after 31 you have 32 32 33 33 34 34 35 35 36 and 36 inches now for the sleeve you will discover that two sizes have the same sleeve length two sizes have the same sleeve length and this is because for sleeve measurements it works with what you have at this point at your extra small so for extra small which is size 30 to size 32 your sleeve is going to be the same which is 31 inches okay which is 31 inches for 30 to 32 why from 34 to 36 which is your small we have 32 inches as your sleeve measurement okay now for your medium which is your 38 to 40 we have 33 as the sleeve measurement now for large now for large which is size 42 to 44 we have 34 inches for the sleeve measurement and extra large which is 46 to 48 we have 35 inches so if you want to extend this to extra extra large it means that your sleeve measurement for extra extra large will be 36 inches every size such as extra small small they are basically adding one inch to it so if you want to increase this just go ahead and extend it up to your desired length now we've gone ahead now to show you guys what it looks like to have your chest measurement your bust measurements your waist and your hip and your neckline and basically it's just adding two inches from one size to the other for your chest measurements for your bust measure your chest measurements your waist measurements and your hip measurements why for your neck you are basically just adding 0.5 inches and for your sleeve you are dealing with the size now the next thing i'm going to show you guys now is how to calculate it okay cg am i sure that my waist measurement is actually correct my hip measurement is correct how will i know if my waist is correct if my hip is correct you know like just in case if you're having like a time of doubt when you take your measurements just to be sure that what you have for your waist measurements is actually correct so i'm going to give you guys the formula to get your waist your waist measurements and your hip now you will discover that we don't have calculations for your chest measurements and this is basically because the chest measurement for male is actually the size so there's no need to calculate it because if your if your chest if your chest is 44 it means that you are size 44 okay so you just you know that okay size 44 falls under where under large measurement do you get what i'm trying to say but if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make so i'll go ahead now and show you guys like the calculations to use to achieve your waist measurements and also your hip measurements so i hope you guys have copied this down because basically i'm going to be rubbing off 
the neck measurement and the sleeve so that we can use this part of the board to calculate our measurement just to have a clear understanding to be sure that what we have is correct if you guys have learned from this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe it's actually very free just click on that red button and also click on the bell to get notifications once a video pop up and don't forget to feel free to drop your questions or any topic you want us to make a video on guys now we want to calculate our measurements okay and this is basically like the formula required for you to achieve your measurements so the formula for your hip measurement to get your hip measurement is your waist divided by four plus two multiply by four minus one okay this will enable you to get your hip measurement and then the measurement for your waist is hip divided by four minus two multiplied by four plus one so you can just go ahead and write the measurement down now the difference there is that for your hip measurements we have plus two and since you have plus two you are going to have minus one at this part and for your waist that you have minus two, it means you are going to have plus one. So it's just basically you um, twisting like the measurement. So we have hip divided by four minus two times four plus one. And in this hip measurement, we have waist divided by four plus two multiplied by four minus one. So you have minus one here and then you have plus one, plus two and then you have minus two. Now let's go ahead now and pick up, you know, Measurements randomly and let's impute this formula into it to be sure that what we actually have is actually correct So I'll just go ahead now and pick my measurements randomly So firstly, let's go ahead and try what we have at this part So I'm going to go ahead now and I just picked okay, it's just like random um, picking So in this part now, we'll go ahead now and impute our measurements we want to cross check what we have for the hip, right? We want to cross check what we have for the hip. So the hip is waist divided by 4. Our waist is 26. 26 divided by 4 plus 2 times 4 minus 1. Now 26 divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 4 minus 1. Now to be sure that we are going to have the exact hip measurement. So 26 divided by 4 we have 6.5 plus 2 we have 8.5 times 4 we have 34 minus 1 we have 33 inches can you guys see it that we have 33 inches now what do we have we have 33 inches so now we want to check out our waist and the formula for waist is hip divided by 4 our hip is 33 33 divided by 4 plus minus 2 times 4 plus 1. So let's go ahead now and calculate it. 33 divided by 4. We have 8.25 minus 2. 6.25 times 4. 25, my, 25 plus 1. 25 plus 1. We have 26. Can you guys see it, that we have 26 inches? So with this now, so if you are given like a size, okay, okay, can you make my dress, my male outfit for me? I'm um, size small. All you need to know, okay, size small. The chest of size small is basically 30 inches. Once you get your waist measurements, you can get your hip, and once you have your hip measurement, you can get your waist. So let's go ahead again and just pick any part randomly and impute this calculation to be sure that what we have is actually correct and this will just enable you to be sure that we have the exact measurement okay and to be sure that what you're actually learning is actually correct and that is the main reason why you have to give this video a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button okay so let's go ahead now and just pick at random so let's move towards the middle part and let's see what we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go for size 40. Six. So this is where we have the waist. 
So this is what we have, and this is because, of course, I'm writing on the board, so my writings are not straight. So I needed to like calculate it to be sure that I'm picking like the exact waist and the exact hip for the size. So let's impute this measurement now. Now we want to get our hip. We want to get the hip. The waist is what 34 divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 4 minus 1. So let's go ahead and calculate it. You can also calculate that also to be sure that what we are doing is actually correct. So 34 divided by 4, we have 8.5 plus 2, we have 10.5. Multiplied by 4, we have 42 minus 1. We have 41. Can you see it? Can you see that we have 41? This is 41. And what do we have? We have 41. Now, let's calculate what we have for the waist. So, what we have for our waist is hip divided by 4. Our hip is 41 divided by 4 minus 2 times 4 plus 1. So, 41 divided by 4, we have 10.25. Multiplied by 4, we have 41. We 41. 41 divided by 4, we have 10.25 minus 2, we have 8.25 multiplied by 4, we have 33 plus 1, we have 34. Guys, can you guys see that we have 34? And what do we have for our waist? We basically have 34. So this is to show that what we have for the size charts and this formula is actually correct. So all you have to do now is that to get your hip measurements, you have your waist divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 4 minus 1, okay? And to get your waist measurements, you have your hip divided by 4 multiplied by 2 minus 2 multiplied by 4 plus 1 and you can see that what we have is actually correct so you can go ahead and just pick out your measurement as random and then you calculate it let me know if after calculating it if what you have is the correct answer put it down in the comment section and let's know if you guys are actually getting the right answer with me okay so the next thing now i'm going to show you guys is how to calculate your lap measurement of course when you want to cut out trousers for male now you have your waist measurements, you have your, you have your waist, you have your chest, you have your hip. How will you know what to use for your round lap when you are cutting trousers for male? So I will go ahead now and clean up this point so that we can use it to calculate what we have for our round lap. The lap measurement, okay. Now you want to calculate your round lap measurement. So the formula for your round lap is hip divided by four plus 2 multiplied by 2. The formula for your round lap is hip divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2. So you have hip divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2. So this is what you have for your hip measurement. Hip divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2. So we'll go ahead now, using these measurements, we'll go ahead to calculate all our round lap measurement from size 30 to size 48. And with this, you'll be able to know if the measurement is actually correct and if what you have is actually correct. So just go ahead and put that down in the comment section. So let's go ahead now and impute our measurements. Our hip is 30, 31. So the first one, the first one will be 31 divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2. 31, okay, 31 divided by 4, we have 7.75, plus 2, we have 9.75 multiplied by 2. We have 19.5 inches. So the first round lap is going to be 19.5 inches. So the second one now is our hip 33. So 33 divided by 4 plus 2 times 2. So let's go ahead now and calculate that. 33 divided by 4, we have 8.25 plus 2, we have 10.25 multiplied by 2. We have 20.5 for our round lap. We have 20.5. 
and also don't forget that for your round lap when you want to like cut your your trousers your round lap measurement is usually divided into two and not into four okay your round lap is usually divided into two and not into four and if you want me to make a video on how to cut and sew male trousers please go ahead and put that down in the comment section if you guys want a video on that then i'm going to go ahead and make the video so the next one now is 35 so just go ahead and impute this so we are going to have 35 divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2 so we have 35 divided by 4 we have 8.75 plus 2 we have 10.75 multiplied by 2 we have 21.5 21.5 inches so the next let me just pick at random basically so let's move to 41 so 41 divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2. So we have 41 divided by 4, we have 10.25. Multiplied by 2, we have 20.5. We have 41 divided by 4, we have 10.25 plus 2, 12.25 multiplied by 2. We have 24.5. We have 24. So for your hip 41, your round lap is 24.5. So let's move to 47. So 47 divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2. 47 divided by 4, we have 11.75. Plus 2, we have 13.75. Multiplied by 2, we have 27.5. We have 27.5. So... This is basically like how to get your round lap measurement. Simply your hip divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2. You have your hip measurement. So you have your round lap measurement. So you can just go ahead now. Use your, your the formula to calculate all the round lap measurement from size 30 to size 48. Now when you are done with that, just also go ahead and check out your measurements to be sure that what you have is equal. Now when it comes to your round lap measurements, it's kind of like varies with little inches. So this 19.5 for size 30, you might decide that you want your trousers to be free. So you can make it of 20 inches. So it can either be increased with half inch or one inch it totally depends on how free you want your trousers to be of course your round lap determines how wide or how slim you want your trousers to be but this is basically like the standard formula to achieve your round lap measurement and another thing again is that with your round lap you can actually use your round lap to cross check your hip measurements so you just kind of like intertwine into each other and it's so interesting and i hope you guys are enjoying this video basically like how to use your hip measurement to get your round lap measurement so there's also a way you can use your round lap measurement to get your hip measurement should i explain that okay let me just give i, I think the formula is not too much but anyway you can go ahead and jot it down or visit our website we have it like in a chat form on our website so you can just go ahead and download it and print it out and i'm going to put down the details in the description box but it's also necessary for you to know this calculation okay so that you can understand it and also work with it so now i'm going to go ahead now and show you guys the formula you are going to use to get your hip measurement from your round lap don't forget that to get our round lap we made it of our hip measurement to get the round lap so now you can also use your round lap measurement to get your hip measurements it's just like vice versa okay and the formula for that is formula for it is your lap divided by two multi minus two multiplied by four okay this is the formula to get your hip so to get your hip measurement from your lap measurements is lap divided by two minus 2 multiplied by 4 and to get your lap from your hip measurements we have hip divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 2 but to get your hip measurement from your lap you have lap div divided by 2 minus 2 multiplied by 4 so let's just go ahead now and test run the measurements with about three examples okay so I'll just pick three examples to test run. You can go ahead and calculate it for all the sizes. So now our lap, let's make use of this part. 
where we already have our lap measurements. So let's use this um, inches where we have our lap measurements to cross check. So our lap here is 19.5. So it means that we are going to have what? 19.5 divided by 2 minus 2 times 4. 19.5 minus 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 4. So we have 19.5 divided by 2, we have 9.75 minus 2, 7.75 multiplied by 4, we have 31 inches. Can you see that we have 31 inches? And 31 inches is also what we have for the what? For the hip. 31 inches is also what we have for the hip. I hope you guys are excited to actually get this, okay? Now, that's what it is what we have for the hip. Let's try the next one now, which is 20.5. So, what is the formula now? We have 20.5, which is our lap measurement, divided by 2, 10.25, minus 2, 8.25, multiplied by 4, 33. Can you guys see it? 33. And what do we have for the hip? What do we have for the hip? 33 inches. So you can see that it's correct. Yes. Now let's move to 41. Our round lap is 24.5. So let's go. 24.5 divided by 2. We have 12.25 minus 2. 10.25 multiplied by 4. Guys, can you see what we have? Can you see what we have? We have 41 inches. And what do we have for the hip? Go ahead and press your calculator and get it right. Okay? Now the last one we have 27.5. 27.5 divided by 2. We have 13.75 minus 2. 11.75 multiply by 4. Guys, can you see what we have? 47. We have 47 inches. And what do we have here? 47 inches! <laughs> I'm so excited because it's like very, it's very, very easy. You know, putting out calculations for people and actually discovering or actually discover that your calculations are right. It comes with so much excitement and I'm so happy, guys. Anyways, go ahead guys and calculate yours, okay? Go ahead and calculate it, put it in a table form. Let me know if the calculations are correct. Let me know if what you guys think about this. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, if you have any question, if you have any topic, if you want me to put up a video on male trousers, male top, placard for male, everything about male cereals, go ahead and put that that put it down in the comment section and I'm going to put up a video on that. I hope this tutorial is not too long. <laughs> Anyways, so this is basically like the formulas um, required for you to achieve your male outfits. We, we discussed how to achieve your hip, your waist, and also how to get your waist measurements, your hip measurements, your round lap, how to use your round lap to get your hip, and how to use your hip to get your round lap measurements. And this, and we also discussed like your sleeve and also your neckline. So these are basically like the basic measurements required. I hope you guys are excited and I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Please, Give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to drop your questions in the comment section and also visit our website, okay? And then I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!